Griggs from Africa Section here at Colchester Zoo and I'm going to uh, announce what the names we've got for uh, the baby cheetahs uh, we currently have here and they're here saying hello. Um, so we have been asking for your guys' help when it comes to uh, naming them. Um, we decided to go with the theme of NHS, uh, obviously for the, the great work that the NHS have been doing uh, and always do uh, for us. Um, so it's been very interesting and we've been uh, very excited to watch all the names uh, flooding in, uh, what you guys have been thinking of. Uh, the most popular ones are the ones that have been chosen. Um, and thank you for every penny that's been donated in helping us choose the names uh, for our cheetah babies. Uh, so for N, we have Nova. Um, for H, we have hope, which is really significant uh, in this time. And S, we have star. Uh, so our, for our male cheetah baby, uh, we have gone with the name Colonel Tom. Um, and we went with that name because of the amazing work that the veteran did, raising millions of pounds uh, for the NHS. Uh, we do feel that all these names are so fitting for this time. And as these babies grow up and, and go on to other zoos around the world to be part of the breeding program, uh, they will carry with them a little bit of history uh, representing uh, the, cur the current time. So with your donations we actually raised over £3,000 uh, and that goes straight into our operating fund to support the survival of the zoo in these very very difficult times. So not only will that help uh, the cheetahs um, but it will help all the animals throughout the zoo. So we can't tell you enough how much we appreciate every penny that is donated to us at this time. So a little update uh, on our babies. They're super playful now. You can probably see in the background there. Uh, they love playing with their siblings and also playing um, with Sia as well. Uh, they have started as well uh, to eat a little bit of meat. So they are coming along uh, and starting the weaning process really, watching what mum does when it comes to feeding. Uh, and they're having a little nibble uh, on the meat as well. But they are still suckling uh, from mum too. So you see she's just laid here, so I might come over shortly for a feed. So at the minute we're not able to tell individuals uh, specifically. They all look very very similar so we have to wait till they're a little, little bit older to uh, spot those markings that will sort of depict who is who. Uh, one already does have a white tip to the end of their tail uh, and quite interestingly dad, a bassy, does have a white tip so that's definitely a, a trait from dad um, but we're very excited to get to know them more as they get older and like I say allocate those names that you've chosen for us guys. <laughs>